How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode number 41 of the Manager Mode 2.0 series here on FIFA 16. Now, uh, episode 40 was a bit of a heartbreaker for Ted Lasso's side. Uh, ended up getting knocked out of the FA Cup in the fifth round. I mean, against the Burnley side that, let's face it, was a little bit better quality side than uh, Newport County. I mean, they're two divisions up from us from, for... Uh, for the sake of it, but, uh, yeah, the next match against AFC Wimbledon, uh, like I guess, uh, you can tell my frustration in the video, I did not like the way that match turned out, uh, I think, I don't know what it was, but it definitely was not the kind of game I was expecting between us, we usually put on a pretty good show on us at Wimbledon play, but it was kind of a, just a boring match with a lot of bad calls. So we're going to end the month of February here as we're winding down the season. We're still in fourth place. That's good. But can we hold on to that spot and maybe even move up to top three? So first up, though, we're going to have some a match here against Crawley Town. As you can see, they're down at the bottom of the table. Uh, we didn't do too well against them last time. They uh, We drew with them. So, But these are the matches we have to win. Uh, last season, these matches got away from us playing teams at the bottom of the table. And uh, it really cost us getting a shot at the promotion for last season. So this season, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see what the resolve is here. We've been on a rough stretch of games here where we've had, like, game two games a week back to back to back. And uh, this will be the conclusion of it. And then we have one more match after that to wrap up the month. But, guys, I'll see you on the pitch. We're here to describe the action for you. Nice to have you with us. Martin Tyler here and Alan Smith. Well, this is how the home team shape up. They are a good side, particularly defensively, and the holding midfield player has a, an important role, do you think? Yeah, and he's an intelligent boy who uh, positionally he can anticipate things. And uh, they'll be hoping to get it wide, though. He'll be shifting it out left and right to try and service those two front lads. This is how the visitors will line up today. Don't always see it these days. Two up front, 4-4-2. Four, four, yeah, and good to see because uh, those two boys up front, they have got a good partnership, a good understanding. A few exceptions. Oh, no, they're through already. The shot just goes over. Oof. And Barnard finds an early shot here as he gets through on net, but it's over the net. I feel like we can get that. We can get that ball. Oh, here they come down the wing. Edwards. Oh, that's a good ball in. Cleared away. Taylor makes the save. And it's a great cross in from Edwards. Who's going to be our uh, new signing for next season? But great ball in there, but Taylor up for the save there. Corners whipped in. Here it is. Tanzer's on it. Oh, and Taylor clears it away. Again, he looks to be on top form here today. Uh, that header flicked to the near post. They go out wide with it. Oh, the strike. Oh, what a goal. Deacon hits an absolute screamer from outside the box. <laughs> and uh, we weren't expecting that. And Crawley Town have taken an early lead here at the Rodney Parade Stadium. Oh, wow. Just a great finish here as you look at it again. Quite a long ways out. We thought we had it covered. We just hit it first time and... Oh, that's by Taylor. He couldn't stop that one. Beautiful str low driven strike there. Nice headed ball one. Collins looks to feed it to Cunha. Cunha holds it up. Nice ball in. Header! Oh, it's off the post! Harrison, finish it. Ah, it's going to be a corner. Collins got the header away as the keeper was going for it. Then Harrison tried to hit it on the rebound, but it was deflected out. Ball swooped up. Header. Oh, it's there. 
The strike from distance. Nope. So Wamsey tried to get it on frame, but just couldn't hit the mark. Oh, brilliant tackle there. Collins finds Harrison. Harrison, can you finish it? Oh, Har oh, Collins, finish it. Oh, what a save. Oh, probably our best chance is Collins tried to dink it, but the keeper got his hip to it and saved it. Oh, Harrison, bang it. Ah, oh, Harrison, nice try. Try to beat the keeper there from close range. Couldn't do it. And here comes Crawley Town. They win it, Edwards. Nice ball. Oh, the strike. Oh. Another close. Man, we're just getting giving up chance after chance here. Here comes Crawley Town. Oh, brilliant ball in to Barn. Oh, no. The strike, and it's a goal. And just like that, we're down 2-0. Oh, my goodness. What has happened this month? We're losing to a side that's only won five matches all year. Crawley Town are just taking us to school here on our own pitch. Just another great buildup and another great finish. Ah, don't know what they were doing there. Oh, no. Get back. Keeper come out. Oh, forces a bad shot there as they almost cut another one on the counter. Good stuff by Taylor to come out and stop that one. And that's the final whistle. Absolutely gut check performance as Crawley Town come to the Rowdy Parade Stadium and basically take it to us. Uh, I don't know what, what we've become here in this month, but, man, we're just a shell of our former selves here. We can't score. We can't defend now. So what is there to do here in Newport County? I mean... It's a bit of a panic situation as, you know, our position in the table is not fully secure. We could slide out of this promotion battle quite easily. But today was just not our day. 2-0 the final. Man of the match will go to the keeper, Flahaven, for Crawley Town. And he made some incredible saves. He denied us any chance of getting into this match. And uh, especially there late in the first half. And then... Where he made an unbelievable rebound save, but just frustrating for us. Uh, again, we're just nobody's, everybody's just playing okay. No one's playing great right now, and it's a bit worrying for Ted Lasso. Um, again, this is about the third match in a row. We've been just mediocre, and at this point in the season, we can't afford to be. We're fighting for promotion right now, and I can see us sliding down the table with this. Uh, just nothing really to report. I'll we'll have to check on Hughes. Another injury to possibly to deal with. But <sighs> got a lot to think about before the next match. That's for sure. Hi, everybody. Martin Tyler here with you. Alan Smith has joined me. League Two football for you today. Yeah, delighted to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. Well, this is how the home team shape up. And we put it out here, Alan, as a 4 4 2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think to begin with, it'll be interesting actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. This is the away team lineup. They are a good side, particularly defensively, and the holding midfield player has a, an important role, do you think? Yeah, and he's an intelligent boy who uh, positionally he can anticipate things. And uh, they'll be hoping to get it wide, though. He'll be shifting it out left and right to try and service those two front lads. McClure on the ball. Of oh, Cunha. Read it nicely. Breaks on. Oh. Harrison. Harrison, come on. Collins gets the goal. Unselfish play from Harrison. Feeds it to Collins. And it's 1-0 up here on the counterattack. 
Oh, man. Early doors here. They were pressing really high up the pitch here, and Harrison just lays this off for Collins. is able to bury it as the keeper is trying to come out to save it. Nice finish there by Collins as the key goes tumbling over the keeper, but he puts it in the back of the net. Oh, nice through ball. The shot just goes over the bar. <clears throat> now Daggett and we're trying, finding some lanes here to exploit, but shot's just a bit wide right now. Oh, I think Collins is going to be through here as he can touch on it. There it is, Collins. <sighs> Foul called in the box, and it's a penalty. Oh, the referee called it. He waited for a minute, but then he gave it. Let's take a look at it again. Hoyt, it was definitely a hard challenge. I mean, Harrison's sold it well. Let's see if he can score it. And he does. Harrison finally gets a goal here. Well deserved. He's worked pretty well today, winning tackles and winning the penalty there. Newport County go up 2 0 here right before the end of the half here with a uh, penalty converted here. Just a great finish from Harrison. Just trying to curl this in. Ah, Cunha couldn't keep that one down. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh. Ah, Lito lost it. Crossed in. Headed up off the post. And it's cleared away. Chambers on the ball. Oh, the strike. A Ken Taylor. What a save. This is making some spectacular saves out there. This we're just struggling to kind of hold on defensively here as Taylor sends it up and over. Diagonum have definitely cranked it up here in the second half. Oh, that's a good ball in, and oh, they can't get it on frame. Getting chance after chance, but nothing seemed to be getting close. There we go. Tanzer now. Tanzer's going to run with it here. Over the top. Collins! And there's another one for him. Oh, the counterattacks worked well. This time, Collins gets his brace. He scores yet again. It's 3-0 now for Newport County. As this route just continues to get worse for Dagenham as they've been putting the pressure on. But it's been us with the quick counters that has made the difference here. Tanzer made a nice run. Just kept going with it. Nice cross in. And Collins just has a knack for finding those. Hitting those on the volley. Nice finish there. The keeper could do nothing on that one. It's off his knee in his face. All right. Free kick for Dagenham Redbridge here. They got two men on it. And drive it, and it just goes wide. Wall wasn't fooled there. Let's take a look at it again. I'm trying to go around the wall, but mm -mm, not on target. Oof, hard tackle there. But that's the final whistle. And uh, Newport County get an emphatic 3-0 victory here on the road against Dagham and Redbridge. This is a must win for us we have been struggling well let's, we're not been struggling we've stunk here in the month of february ever since that fa cup match in burnley we've lost our mojo but i think tonight we got some of it back it took four games for us to find our goal scoring touch again and we got three goals all from our strikers up top there so it was a good game for us stagging them gave us a heck of a fight but they just couldn't score but the final here is three nil So, the man of the match goes to Collins, uh, coming up big there, getting two goals in this match. Uh, he could have had the assist for Harrison, but uh, you know, Harrison got taken out. He got a, he had a goal and assist. I thought both strikers played really well today. Harrison was good. You know, it kind of slipped off there at the end, but not bad. Um, Collins just, 
he just he's not the best player striker, but man, he just when he gets that ball in the box on his feet, he just he can make things happen. He can make things happen in tight spaces. A much more potent finisher. But uh, we get a, a much needed win. We definitely needed this. Um, can't say that enough. Uh, everybody else played okay. Nothing really too outstanding. It was kind of an. I mean, Daggett and Redbridge controlled the match, but we weren't any under any threat. We were just kind of grinding away, and we grinded away three goals. So we'll take it. Uh, good result for us. Uh, Nice to see our forwards getting some action on the ball and scoring. But uh, let's go to the table real quick before we end the episode and see where we ended up. Looking at the table here, as you can see, we're, as we've pretty much wrapped up February now, um, we're in fourth place still, which is good. I mean, we're we're only three points out of that automatic promotion spot with Fleetwood Town. Um, I think that run of matches really kind of hurt us a little bit as far as, you know, momentum if we would have gotten a couple draws in that i figure we'd be a lot closer to fleetwood town we're still not out of it yet but you know i think a lot of teams are right now hitting a kind of a struggling mark and i think finally i mean february we had so many matches back to back we had two matches a week for about three four weeks in a row and uh by the time we got through the, the guys were getting more and more tired and they were struggling to keep up a full match pace so Finally, in the, this last match against Dagenham and Redbridge, we finally got a, well rest, a week of rest. So it was much needed, and we looked a lot sharper. So there you can see in the table, uh, only what are we, uh, we've we got five points separating us from eighth place. So, I mean, we're not safe by any means, but, I mean, if we keep up the de- defense we've got, I mean... It's teams are having a hard time scoring against us. It's just can we score enough goals to keep ourselves in this position? Let's we'll wait and see as we've got March just around the corner here, and we've got plenty of teams below us that we still have to play. We've played pretty much everybody above us and are most of the teams around us already twice. So we're working on the bottom of the table. The advantage is there for us. We could really make something magical happen this season. Maybe even pip one of those automatic spots. But, I mean, we're in the playoff hunt. We're looking strong right now defensively. We're a tough team to break down. The offense is clicking at times, and then other times it's not. We just need to improve that aspect of our game a little bit. But there you go, guys. Finally get a win here. (laughs) I was getting a bit frustrated by that, but uh, we'll definitely take it. Anyway, guys, thanks for everyone for watching, and I hope to see you guys around next time for some more... uh, FIFA 16 Manager Mode 2.0, so take care.